Ruth here, and I'm at my desk. Now this is the Lisa Horton Crafts Jackie Mat that I got for my birthday. I thought I might as well do a, uh, a video of it when I have to uh, ink up something. Which is the main reason I got it for, you know, so I don't have to use tape or anything. So, technically it is the ultimate accessory. Uh, but I don't have that. And I didn't want to get another stamping platform when I got technically three. The one over there. Right there. And the one that's on my bed, which is an 8x8. Eight eight, and a, uh, 4x4 four four one, which probably arrived by the time I, before I put up this video. Um, yeah. So, it has an acetate template included. It is 9 by 9.5 inches. Yeah. Um, and it has a rotating grid. Place underneath your tacky mat to align your card and stencil on your alternate tool. Uh, this is the, uh, the code if you wish to know. And <clears throat> contents: one tacky mat and one acetate template. Tool dimensions: nine inches by nine point five inches. Benefits of the tacky mat: you can use the tacky mat on your workspace, or you can use it in combination with your ultimate tool, a uh, multi-tool, and your ultimate tool. The acetate template has peg holes allowing you to secure your tool. You can place your tacky mat over the acetate and use it as a guide to align your paper. The po photopolymer mat holds your paper gently in place for easy inking and blending. The results can vary depending on the type of thickness of paper car slash cardstock you use. You can wash your mat with warm water should it become less tacky, leave to dry naturally, or use a lint-free cloth. The tacky polymer mat may stain when using with some types of ink, but this does not affect the use of the mat. Always return the acetate carrier sheet after use. Note: Do not use with sharp objects or place imagery that is foiled face down on the mat. There also may be imperfections in the polymer, but this is usual and does not affect the mat's performance. Yeah. So. This is the mat. This is the acetate grid. Okay, there's that. Don't know if you can really see that. It's got peg holes. There. Look where the tape is. And it's kind of Okay. Um, that's like, you know, you can put it on there. You know, to hang it. Get it the right way. You know, like that. So you can line it up. Currently, I don't need to line up anything right now. So. I'll just place this back in here. Let's get you started.
Well, what do you think of that? This is going to be a uh, happy retirement card for my friend, neighbor, person. Um. <laughs> This is not more paper, not um to make it all. And not uh, any thick cardstock or anything. Pretty thin paper actually. Oh it's like I'll blow through. Um So yeah, see so we uh Get some of those, it's like some sort of splatted there. And somewhere. So yeah. Let me just make sure I got it all. Okay, so I got some cheapy kind of cardstock, glitter cardstock. And it's 180 GSM, so not that bad. So I thought I'd go and zoom. <laughs> um with the Either this one, or a very nice kind of ombre one. I think this one. So I need to figure out how. But I count the wrong way. I cut it the wrong way. Oh well. I'll still use it. So this go on here. Like so or so. And this go on here. Like so. There is a bit of a waste on the inside, you know. So I'm going to die cut something out of the inside. I don't want to waste my nice pretty thing. I mean I could actually cut out the the sentiment. frame. Yeah, I'll do that. That's the Gemini and the beans. I'll like that, so I'll cut it out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the thing to stamp on. I brought some gems over. I die cut this because I don't think the big one... Yeah, it would take up too much space. So I did a smaller one. I'll like put it right here. And then I'll do that in the middle, because I can't stamp on this, I don't think. Or I could do that, and do that in the middle. I haven't decided yet. So, as off to side for now, I will glue this down with my 
My sweet Petunia Precision Glue Press. I keep on doing the wrong. Technically, if I wanted to, this could have been a good window for making a shaker card. I think that's enough blue, right? I kind of tend to do extra. Anyway, you can sort of see the shimmer in the letters. Very nice, very nice. I'm tempted to put this in there too. So I don't waste it. Huh? I mean, I don't waste it. Ink medium 1.0 mm ball blue. It's a hybrid Pentel K230. Oh, they just got a pen paper shop, I think. Let's go. Okay, so. There we go. So, that looks finished. I'm gonna put the shirt down there. I don't know if I pointed out earlier, but 
my guys are all in. Oh, because the Midas ones are over there, and the small square ones are over there. But uh, these ones are all the um, teardrop kind of shape, water shape. Also the two little ones, water reactive, but they couldn't. Silver shimmer, gold shimmer, color blue, duet. And those two up there are the shadow mark. I don't know if that's going But at least it's on hand and I'll actually use them. So. Hmm. I'm gonna go right in line with you. Alright, I'll just make sure. Okay. Technically, I could have used a little stamp, but I used one stamp on it. Today. So, yes, that's it. Finally! Yay! I throw these away. And whatnot. So, hopefully getting it on the floor. Hopefully. Oh, never day. So many things on the floor. Um, so yes. Thank you for watching. Alright.